Hi everyone, my name is Judith Turner and this video was posted on my YouTube type site quite some years ago and when I did it I, it was back in the very beginning really when I didn't know a lot about um, doing videos. So I have been asked if I would do a voiceover to explain what I'm doing. And so I thought that I would redo it and um, and take you through the process. I do apologize for my voice. Um, those of you that know me, I'm hopefully going to have a double lung transplant soon. So my breathing and my talking is a little bit labored. Um, you can see there that this is a jumper that has laddered. Um, and it's just laddered straight up on one, one line, I guess you could say. Um, I'm not a knitter, so I'm sorry. I'm sure you knitters out there would know what that, what it's called. But basically, you can see there's a loop there. Now, what's important is to gather all of that loop into, um, say, for example, I'm using tweezers. You might find something a bit more useful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-knit it by using those tweezers. And basically all you have to do is <coughs> place the tweezers through the, um, the loop in the knit and then take hold of the wool um, line that's underneath and pull that through the loop. So that actually knits that together. Now you may have to take the tweezers out and just adjust them um, and then pop them back in. Now I did it at one stage and I missed a couple of um, little screens of, of wool so I had to unpick it and go back. But if you keep doing that, just um, getting hold of that loop and then pulling the um, line of wool that's underneath it into that loop then that becomes your new loop and then you start all over again and you keep doing that working back to the beginning. Now this only works on a garment that has been truly knitted you know with needles when you're dealing with, say, a machine knit um, garment, you're not going to, probably not going to be able to do this. And it would be more a repair where um, I'll put a little um, link in there later to another video I've done where I've just repaired a machine knit um, garment and that's a totally different kettle of fish I mean there's no way you can do what I'm doing here in my opinion on a machine knit it's more what I perceive as a darn you know for those of you who are in the the 60s and 70s um, you'll remember when your mum had a you know, a, a, a knitting, it was, well, what was it called? It was called like a darn, a darn thing. <laughs> um, sorry, I don't know the name of it, but like we used to darn socks. I used to darn my brother's socks, my father's socks, um, <coughs> using this round thing for darning. <coughs> you know, nowadays they don't do things like that, of course. You know, it's we live in a throwaway society now and you know clothes are so cheap in many ways that people just you know if if something goes wrong with them they just throw it away um, they don't try and repair it um, whereas I came from that era where um, if a garment required if a garment needed to be repaired then you know, I'd repair it. Um, so that's where all of my 
um, information comes from. Now what I'm doing there, this is where I'm at the end and I'm going to tie off that loop and then once I've tied it off with the thread I'm going to pull that through to the other side. So I'll just get rid of the little tail and I'm actually using, um, well you can use any sort of needle but I've got needles with really big eyes so that they do that. So see how I can pull that through and once that's through then I can just um, knot it off and when you're knotting something off you just push it through like I'm doing now and then when you're ready to to completely lock it just leave a little section of the loop open and then put the thread th through the loop like I'm doing now and then that locks it. So I do it once and then I'll do it a second time and that should make sure and ensure that that never comes apart again. So this is a finished repair. Um, it was just a standard knit and it had a ladder and you could see that what I did was I grabbed hold of that last stitch and then kept pulling it through until I got it back up to here and then locked it off at the top. So if you've got a knitted garment, um, that's you know one way that you can repair it. There are two other videos you might find useful. One is repairing a snag in a knitted dress, you know when a when the knit just gets pulled out and you've just got that one strand that's hanging there and you want to fix that. And the other one is repairing a hole in a jumper that's been machine knitted like I talked about before. So you can't repair it like I repaired this one. So if you search them on my YouTube channel, um, otherwise I'll also probably put some links at the end of this video.